Today we're going to take a look at Private GPT, which is a new project that is currently the number one trending project on GitHub, and it allows you to load up documents, text files, PDF files, and ask questions about them using a large language model. The best part is it's completely private, hence the name. You can install it locally on your machine. It's completely open source, and it doesn't require you to send your information to any external sources. And it also means you could do this with no internet connection required. It uses one of the recent GPT for all models and it works quite well. Let's take a look. I'm gonna drop the GitHub repo link in the description below. But here's the instructions and I'm gonna walk you through step by step. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up Visual Studio Code. Then you're gonna click File in the top left, New Window. Once you have that open, you're gonna click the Toggle Panel button up in the top right and that opens up a terminal in Visual Studio Code. Give it a second to load up. Let's switch back to the GitHub repo, and in the GitHub repo, you're gonna click this little green code button, and you're gonna click the copy button to get the URL of the GitHub repo. Then we're gonna switch back to Visual Studio Code. We're gonna change directories to our desktop, CD, desktop. Then once we have that URL, we're gonna paste it in here with git clone. So git clone, and then the URL. That will clone it to our desktop. Now we're gonna navigate to that folder, CD, private GPT, enter, and now we're in the folder. Once we have the private GPT folder open in Visual Studio Code, the next thing we're gonna do is install the requirements. And that's done by typing pip install dash r requirements.txt and then hit enter. Now I've already gone through this, so all of the requirements are already satisfied, but this may take you a little while if you haven't already done it. Next on the left side, there's a file called example.env and we're gonna right click, we're gonna go down to rename and we're gonna rename that just .env. So delete the example text, hit enter. Let's take a look. This sets up the environment variables that we need to actually run private GPT. Now I don't need to change anything, but if you did want to change things, this is where you would do it. We're gonna be using all of the default settings. The next thing you're gonna do is download the models. And to get those models, look about halfway down the GitHub repo page, and there are two links, you need both of them. The GGML GPT for all J version 1.3 Groovy and the GGML model Q4 underscore zero dot bin file. Download them both, I've already done that, they're a few gigabytes each. So once you've done that, you need to create a folder called models. So I'm gonna come here on the left side, I'm gonna right click new folder and type models enter. And that creates that new folder called models. Then I'm gonna take the two models that I downloaded and move them into the models folder. And then they are, they appear right there now. Once you're done with that, you can load up all of the files that you want into the source documents folder. So that's right here. Right now, when you download it, it comes with a file called stateoftheunion.txt, which is the recent State of the Union address. That's where you're gonna put any documents that you want to ask questions about. You can right now use text files, PDF files, and CSV files. The next thing we're gonna do is ingest the files. Now, this is basically taking those files, chunking them up, storing them in a database so that we can use the GPT for all model to actually ask questions about it. So to do that, you wanna click the ingest.py file on the left side, and then in the top right, there's a little play button, and go ahead and click play. Now this takes a really long time, especially depending on if you have an older machine. So I have a brand new MacBook Pro, and it took a couple minutes. So it's running now on my machine. I'm gonna fast forward through this. Now this puts a heavy strain on your CPU, so if you hear your fan turn on, that's why. Okay, it just finished. It took about five minutes. The last thing we need to do is actually run the application. So on the left side, we're gonna click privategpt.py, and then in the top right, we'll click play. And it says, enter a query. What did the president say about Russia? Now this takes a little while, but not too long. Here it is. The president has spoken out against Russia's actions in Ukraine, stating that they are a threat to peace and stability in Europe, and that the United States and its allies will defend NATO countries in the event of further aggression. Gives us the question we asked, gave us the answer, 
and it actually gave sources for the answer. So that's it. That's how to install private GPT. And again, you can run this completely locally, no internet connection required. It's pretty amazing. Now, when I was installing this, I ran into a couple issues around versioning and Python modules, but that only really has to do with my environment and you wouldn't run into the same thing. But if you need help debugging anything, remember I just launched a Discord and you can jump in and ask for help. Link will be in the description below to that Discord. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.